and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a Princess Polly haul. One of the outfits that I'm going to show you guys today, I actually got sent for a collaboration on my Instagram, but everything else I got myself personally. I just wanted to say that at the beginning, I absolutely love everything that I got. I love Princess Polly. Basically, my whole entire wardrobe is from Princess Polly. I'm obsessed. Um, so I have a couple of clothing pieces and I also have some accessories as well, which I will show you guys at the end of the video. First thing is what I'm wearing right now, which I am so obsessed with. I've never bought like t-shirts or like big t-shirts like this of Princess Polly, but I know so many people and I've watched so many hauls where, where people buy these shirts and they love them. So I was drawn to like the colors on this t-shirt. I think they look really, really nice. Um, and kind of like 90s vintage vibe, which I was drawn to. So that's why I got it. And I actually got this one in a size six. So it's quite an oversized t-shirt, which I love. Um, and I've also tucked it into my bra as well. So it's definitely a lot longer than this. So it's like a big, long, oversized t-shirt. And then I've just tucked it like so. I think that adds like a really cool vintage 90s vibe and then I've just paired some gold jewelry with it as well and then the next thing I'm going to show you guys are the jeans that I'm wearing so I will move the camera down and show you guys like a full length of the jeans um if you watch like my vlogs and other videos you'll know like that the other pair of jeans I wear are from Princess Polly and I literally wear them to death like I wear them nearly every single day if I'm doing something or going out I'll wear these jeans like they're the best jeans and they're the Princess Polly brand jeans as well I wanted to pick up another pair of Princess Polly brand jeans and these ones are called the Hastings jeans these ones I will say are not as high-waisted uh, as the other ones but they are high-waisted enough to like cover your belly button and like still look high-waisted but the other ones like are like super high-waisted which I really loved but these ones here have like some cuts at the knees. So it's just like a different vibe to my other jeans, which you can never have too many jeans. So just wanted to pick up another pair. I'll bring the camera down and show you guys what they look like. But these are the jeans here and that's what they look like. That's how high they come up. So they're definitely high waisted enough. And then they have a split on this knee here. And then they also have a split on your thigh. So yeah those are the Hastings jeans and I got these in a size 8 as well and here is a little close-up of the top and the graphic on the top I just really love the colors the next thing I got is another top and this is the top here I love tops with these types of um, sleeves I just think they look so cute and I love the little flowers on it so I had to pick this one up I have so many like white little shirts like this because I just think they like flatter, like they flatter me really well and I can wear them with jeans and then chuck like a nice jacket on over the top and you're good to go. So I'll try this one on for you now. I think I got, what size? I got a size six in this one here and it fits me perfectly. It does have like um, stretchy ribbed material at the back as well. So it stretches on your body, which I love. So this is the other top here. As you can see, these sleeves are literally the cutest sleeves ever. I love tops with sleeves like this one. And then I love the little cutout here and just like the shape of this top. I think it's really, really flattering. They also have like little buttons down the middle here, but I'll come in closer to the camera so you can see like the pattern and all the detailing. So as you can see, they have little cute yellow flowers on them. And it's just a really fun little girly crop top. I just think it's so cute. So onto the next piece is this one here and this one is called the Michael Top in dark pink. It's definitely more of like a fluorescent pink than a dark pink, but this is like a little cardigan. You can um, wear it done up if you want to. I'll show you guys both ways or you can wear it with like a little white crop top underneath, which is really nice as well. I think I mentioned in my last video with the blue one that was kind of similar to this, but it had a collar and I ended up finding like a little white crop top or a little white singlet in my cupboard. So, um, I actually really like it with like this over the top. So this one I got in a size six as well and it fits me perfectly, but I'll try it on with the white singlet and then without, so you can see like, I don't know, two ways of wearing this little pink cardigan. 
Okay, so this is the pink top on with a little white crop top underneath. And it's definitely a very 90s vibe, but I feel like all the 90s fashion is coming back in now. So this is um, a really nice like winter look when it's like not too cold outside. But I really, really like it with like a little crop top underneath, but I'll do it up and show you guys what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like with it all done up, which is also really really cute i definitely prefer this one than the blue one if you watched my last haul um i got one very similar to this from glassons but it had like a collar on it and i think it was the collar that i wasn't really the biggest fan of so i love that you can see like most of like your collarbone and stuff like that and i don't know i just think it's a like a nicer look like for me um but yeah so this is the last clothing piece that i'm going to show you guys today and then i have a couple of accessories this one here is a little checkered mini skirt, which I think is so cute. Um, I did get this one in a size 8, but I think I'm going to have to get it in a size down because it's quite big around my waist. I was going to get it in a size 6, but I couldn't tell how tight it was on the model and I didn't want to get a size 6 and then it not fit my bum. But it is an A-line skirt, so it comes in at your waist and then goes, um, like flares out a bit into like an A-line shape when it gets to like your hips and your bum and stuff like that. So I definitely could have gone a size six, but it's still a really cute skirt and I definitely will get it in a size down. Um, this one here is called the Fike Mini Skirt in Charcoal. They also, I think they had like a green and brown version as well, which is really cute, but I thought this would was like more of like a wintry vibe. And it's kind of like a velvety, material like it's a really thick wintry material which is very nice so yeah i'll try this one on for you now this is what the skirt looks like on as you can see here it is quite big around my waist and here but it fits me perfectly like around my legs and everything like that but i think the size six um will still fit me around like my bum and my thighs but just look a lot nicer so if I like bring it in like that <laughs> it looks so much nicer it definitely gives me major clueless vibes this skirt and kind of gossip girl vibes as well but like I said before all of like the 90s fashion is coming back now so all of these little skirts are really in and like this checkered pattern is really in as well especially coming into winter um but yeah if it was in a size six it would be a lot better that's for sure Okay, so onto the accessories that I bought. This first one is a scarf. And to be honest, I did think it was going to be a lot smaller than this. Like my other like head scarves that I use to like put in my hair and style my hair and all that kind of stuff. But I love the pattern on this. It has little flowers, like different colored flowers all over it. And it's actually quite a sheer material. But I don't know. I feel like there's so many ways that I could like play around with this but I did specifically want it to like put in my hair but I think it's a bit um too big to put in my hair I'll show you guys um what it looks like I like to put like that so obviously it would look cuter if I had like my hair out like <laughs> I think I just look a bit silly at the moment, but um, this is like the vibe I was wanting for it. So it like kind of does work, but these things here are really, really long. Um, like it's like it's not bad, but it, I just expected it to be a lot smaller, but it does still work. And then I was also thinking because of how big it is, I could wear it as a scarf top. So I'll show you guys what it looks like as like one of those scarf top things. So I'll try that on now. So this is a scarf turned into a little top and I've never tried it like this but I actually quite like it like this because there's like heaps of material. Some scarves like there's not enough material to be able to do this but this one is definitely big enough that you could turn it into a little top. I'll take this off and see if I can find like try another way of tying it as well. I'm sure there's like heaps of different ways that you can like make a scarf into a top. So I've just tied it this way so this is definitely another way you can wear it. I've never actually been able to tie my scarf this way before because it's never been long enough, but this one is definitely long enough. I haven't tied it like 
very good at all so it definitely can look a bit better but this scarf is super versatile so you can wear it in your hair or you can wear it i'm sure there's i'm pretty sure there's more ways you can turn it into a top as well but this is all i know how to do so but very versatile okay on to the next accessory this is probably my favorite thing in the haul i mean besides the shirt this shirt is definitely my favorite but this one it comes in a definite close second and it's this little shoulder bag but it's yellow and i just think this is so cute and with this outfit i just think it looks really cool as well and really ties it all in together because of the yellow car on the front and this one here um you can actually adjust the strap length which is really cool yeah, it's yellow, so I just had to get it. I just think it's so cute and very, like, it's definitely a statement bag because of its color. And these shoulder bags are really in at the moment. They've been in for quite a while now. And these were so cheap as well. Princess Polly has a whole heap of really affordable bags at the moment. There was another, like, little satchel bag. I think it was, like, a lime green, which was super cute. Um, but I think this was like $50, which is really good for like bags like this and really good for Princess Polly as well. Like I, there's not too many bags on Princess Polly that are around that um, price, but they've just bought out like a whole heap of really cute on-trend bags that are super affordable. So I had to pick up one of them and I'm pretty sure they had this one in like her baby blue as well, but I just thought the yellow was so striking and just really out there and... I don't know, I just love this bag so much. So yeah, it definitely comes in close second to this top. Maybe they're even tied, I don't know, but it's really cute. And then the last piece of accessories are actually the earrings that I'm wearing now. I don't know if you guys can see them from there, but it's just like a little dangly earring and it has a little gold circle on it there. I'll come closer so you guys can see. So that is the earring close up. As you can see, it's super simple, super dainty. I love my gold jewelry. All my jewelry is gold except for my rings. I like rose gold rings actually, but I'm like all my rings from Pandora are like all silver. But earrings and necklaces, definitely gold. I don't think I own any silver except for my Tiffany necklace and that's the only silver that, yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, super simple, super dainty, and I just love them. Okay, so that is everything that I have to share with you guys today. If you did like this Princess Polly haul and want more hauls from Princess Polly or any other brands that I'm working with on my Instagram or just any of the stuff that I buy myself, then definitely give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more hauls coming your way because I'm sure there will be more hauls. At the moment, that seems to be like all I'm doing is hauls because... I just get so many new things all the time, whether I'm buying them myself or getting them to shoot on my Instagram, and I love sharing them with you guys. So if you do like them, then definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!